This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to use Google Firebase with ESP8266 for sensor monitoring. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using the MQ3 gauge sensor module and a flame sensor. Before starting this project, there are certain important things that I want to share with you. About two years ago, I made four videos related to Google Firebase, which people liked a lot. I used Firebase with ESP8266 for sensor monitoring, and I also did the same project using ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. Apart from this, I also designed my own Android application for Firebase database in which I monitored the THD11 temperature and humidity sensor. And in the fourth video, I again used Google Firebase at a slightly more complex level in which I created a complete student attendance system. Now, you guys must be thinking that if I have already made basic and advanced level projects on Google Firebase, then why am I making a basic video again today? Well, the videos that I just mentioned, I made these videos two years ago. Two years is a long time. In the meantime, there have been some updates in the Firebase libraries due to which you may face some difficulties in following the previous videos. It's not that those projects are useless. If you guys update the Firebase library, all your issues will be gone. Today, I'm going to make a complete project again. You are advised to watch this video with concentration. If you already have any pending project, then I'm sure after watching this video, you guys will be able to resolve the related issues from your Firebase database project. As usual, before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram, Firebase setup and programming, first I'm going to share with you the test results and afterward I will explain everything else. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have connected the MQ3 gauge sensor and flame sensor with my ESP8266 development board as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. As you can see, I have powered up the ESP8266 and I have also opened my Google Firebase account. Right now, Node MCU ESP8266 and laptop are connected to the internet. Right now, I'm using the same Wi-Fi network. But if you want, you can also use different Wi-Fi networks. It's an IoT, Internet of Things based project. You can monitor your sensors from any part of the world, obviously if the internet connection is available. I have created this real-time Firebase database with the name Flame and MQ3 sensor. This real-time Firebase database receives sensor values from the node MCU, ESP8266 and displays the values over here. I'm using digital mode of the flame sensor. In the digital mode, the output of the flame sensor can be either 1 or 0. So if no flame is detected, then message no fire is printed. And if the flame is detected, then the message fire detected is printed over here. While I'm using analog mode of the MQ3 sensor, you will see different values depending on the amount of gas leakage. Anyway, let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration.
I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The power supply pins of MQ3 sensor and flame sensor are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The digital output pin D0 of the flame sensor is connected with the D0 pin on the Node MCU module while the analog output pin of the MQ3 sensor is connected with the A0 analog pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. For the initial testing, you don't need this 5 volt regulated power supply. You can use your laptop to power up the Node MCU module. But if you are thinking about its practical implementation, then you will need an external power supply. Now let's go ahead and start working on the Google Firebase. Search for the Firebase and click on the first link. Next, click on Go to Console. Next, click on Create a Project. Enter the project name. In my case, I'm going to select Flame and MQ3 Sensor. Avoid long project names. Check the boxes to confirm the Firebase terms. Disable the Google Analytics for this project and click on the Create Project button. Once your project is ready, click on the Continue button. Now click on the Authentication. Click on Get Started. Click on Anonymous. Click on Enable and save the changes. You can see the status is now changed to Enabled. Now click on the Project Overview. Scroll down and click on the See All Extensions features. Scroll down and select a Real-Time Database. Click on Create Database. Click on the Next button. Select Start and Test Mode and click the Enable button. Copy this link. Open the programming file and paste this link next to the database URL. Now open the project settings. Copy the web IP key. Again open the programming file and paste it next to the API key. We are done with all the settings. Now I can click on the real-time database and start monitoring my sensors. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. If you have never used the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, then I highly recommend that you guys should watch my getting started video on the ESP8266. In that video, I have explained how to install the ESP8266 board manager URL link. If you do not install the ESP8266 board, then you won't be able to find the Node MCU ESP8266 in the boards list. So installing the ESP8266 board is the first thing that you have to do. After you are done with installing the ESP8266 or ESP32, 
Now, in order to connect your Google Firebase database account with the Node MCU ESP8266 or ESP32, you will need this Firebase ESP client library. To install this library, simply click on the Sketch menu, then include library and click on the Manage libraries. Search for the Firebase Arduino. As you can see, I have already installed the Firebase Arduino client library for ESP8266 and ESP32. The code I have already explained in my previous Firebase related projects. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.